So how do I know which way is right? The way right in front of you is the right way. You know, um, it's very easy to know what suits you, right? How do you choose a dress when you go to the shop? What is your criteria of choosing your dress? The picture of the dress on the wall? Give me some feedback. How will you choose your dress when you go to the shops? What suits you? What suits you? Right? What looks good on you? That is exactly the same way. When something suits you, that's yours. Even spirituality, what suits you is yours. A master's teachings, what suits you is, is yours. But what, do, what doesn't suit you, how can you handle it? In other words, whatever becomes a pleasure for you, it's yours. That suits you. Whatever becomes a pressure, pain, oh, I have to do this every morning to this ritual. Do you think you're going you're gonna to grow with that? You will be resisting it all the time. If something is a pressure for you, how many times you will do it? A few times out of pressure, then you will drop it. So, spirituality should be a pleasure. You should feel like doing it. You should love it. And when you love it, you will never leave it. Whatever you love, you will not leave. Whatever, you are, whatever is a pressure, as early as possible, you will leave. So that's not yours. Same like the books. Sometimes we buy a book, two, two pages, three pages. Okay, next time. Why do we do that? If the book is good for you or if it suits you, you will not drop it, right? You will keep it or you will read it until the last chapter, until the last page. <coughs> Similarly, anything which suits you will be a pleasure for you. Otherwise, it will all be a pressure for you. You will lay down and you will walk. Oh, I have to do this. That is what happening with most of the rituals. You see, many people practice rituals at home, right? And they are walking with a heavy feet. They are not enjoying it. Do you think there will be a progress this way? There won't be a progress. You are actually adding on more burden. You know, this is what donkeys do. You know, they have no idea why they are carrying the weight. But they do carry. You know, somebody has given them the weight, they put it on the shoulder, they walk. And they continue walking. They do not know that you can live without weight. They are in an automatic mode. You know, unconscious existence. Most of us are doing it. It's time we ask the question. Why should I be spiritual? It's a fundamental question. We must ask. Why should I be spiritual? Why spirituality at all? This question should be asked at some point in time. Because by default, because of somebody's opinion, because of some idea, because of the reason of cities, you should not follow spirituality. That won't work for you. The question of why spirituality should be asked, analyzed, understood and then become spiritual. Let me tell you one thing. If there is life, there is spirituality. You cannot deny it. It's not just human beings. Every being is spiritual. How can, how can you know that every being is spiritual? Your relationship with your spirit or soul is spirituality. If you are alive, you are spiritual. If you are dead, there is no spirit there, there is no soul. Soul has left the body. That's what we call the dead body. Then there is no spirituality because there is no soul inside. If you have a soul inside, you are spiritual. And what is spirituality? Your relationship with your soul is spirituality. Your relationship with your soul is spirituality, which nobody can take away from you. Nobody can take away. That way, you are born spiritual and you will be spiritual till your death. You are born spiritual and you, are, you will remain spiritual and you, you will be spiritual until you die. This is the truth. So, who is not spiritual? Now, what is the difference here? The only difference is that some people are aware that they are spiritual. They are aware of their connection with their soul. Some people are not aware. That's all. But everybody, 
who has taken birth in this platform called Earth are spiritual because they have a spirit, they have a soul. So, being spiritual is not a thing which you do. This is something which you are. You are spiritual by nature. You know, you do not have to be spiritual. This is, please understand this clearly. You are spiritual by nature. Nobody can take it away from you. And you don't have to be spiritual. This have to be spiritual is creating all these problems. We think we have to be spiritual. That means it's a non-understanding. You have to be nothing. Whatever you want to be, you already are. You know, please understand. You are already everything. You don't have to be something. You are that. That way, please understand, you are spiritual because you have a soul and you have a contract with your soul. Just be aware of this contract. And this contract starts from your first heartbeat till your last heartbeat. Nobody can change it. You are spiritual. You don't need a guru nor a book to tell you this. This is your reality. This is your truth. Do you get what I'm saying? This is fundamental thing you should understand. Then you know how spiritual you are. Is it? Even if somebody says that, oh, you need to do all these rituals to be spiritual, you can very well say, thank you very much. <laughs> you know, I'm fully aware of the situation. So, please don't think that by doing something else, you can be more spiritual. In fact, to be more spiritual, you should stop compulsive actions. You should stop compulsive actions and start feeling life more. Being yourself. Feeling life. This is important. When you are 100% yourself, you are very close to your soul. When you feel your life, when you feel yourself, when you feel your existence, you are very close to your soul. Do you understand? If you are doing so many things and if you are external, you are away from the connection of the soul. Your connection with the soul remains the same. Mind is away from it. Right? So, feel life. Feel yourself. And if you get chance to connect to powerful masters, masters who are connected to the consciousness and are fully experiencing the connection of the cosmic consciousness, never leave them. The proximity itself is enough. It's like wood and fire. They are like fire and you are the wood. Immediately you will catch fire. Otherwise you have to work hard to, to be there. The, the main idea, main philosophy, why people say connection to masters is important is because the presence of masters directly affects your causal layer, your subconscious mind. How? It directly goes to the root where all the impressions are stored. And then what happens? The fire which is the master burns them. When the fire burns these impressions, you're, you become lighter. You, have, you experience karmic lightness. Lightness of karma. Karma will remain the same from birth till death, but the intensity goes less. Sometimes you experience something else. Some, some people say, when I connected to a master, my life became full of calamity. Why is it happening? Because if you are supposed to live 50 lifetimes, when you connect to a master, so many things get burned and the 50 lifetimes become 25 lifetimes. If your original agenda of the contract with the soul was 50 lifetimes, proximity of the master makes it 25. So each life becomes very intense. One person told Shri Sai Baba, there is a lot of suffering in life. Please can you split it into more pieces so I can suffer it over 10 lifetimes. The Baba said, why do you want to suffer 10, li 10 lifetimes? You are with me. You know, we'll finish everything in this lifetime. You know, that, that means masters compress things in such a way, each life, each day will be more powerful and more intense and things get exhausted faster and in the bargain 
many lifetimes gets eradicated, washed away. Right? You become more and more complete each moment. And through these hardships, through these difficulties, over the time you will be connected to the consciousness. When you are very happy, do you think you will connect to consciousness? Whenever you are having sorrow, whenever you are having helplessness, God, please help me. Right? So, intensity of uh, life brings you closer to your soul. And you become aware of the soul. You become soul conscious. Then you become God conscious. So, this is why this whole structure is made this way. Did I make myself clear? Yes. These are all fundamental truths. If you know this, nobody can really uh, take you for a spin. You know, nobody can mislead you. If you understand that you are spiritual by nature and nobody can change it, you are free already.